Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Now you all know about the RR01 vector thrusted ducted fan flying machine with retractable Falcon style landing legs. Um, the EDF in that is a 120 millimeter uh, fan with running on 12S with 7.5 kilograms of thrust. So it's a very, very powerful fan. Now a friend of mine, uh, a friend of mine who I was in the Air Force with, uh, he has uh, been a friend for a very long time, uh, over 20 years, almost 25 years, and we've always both been into like radio control stuff. So, um, and we've, we've also been into boats. And uh, he's recently, like in the last year, got into uh, CAD, computer aided design, which is what I do, I've been doing it for a long time. And he said, let's both design and make ducted fan powered boats so I'm thinking yeah that's good that's really cool but what we're going to do is he's going to design something and I'm going to design something and then we're going to build them and then without showing each other our designs come together uh, at the lake and then race them uh, you know see who's as fastest see what works see what doesn't work learn from each other's mistakes and then improve and then come back next time with a better design so in this video, uh, it's going to take you through our journey of the last year of building the world's fastest ducted fan powered boat. Enjoy. the rudder, uh, rudder test. Um, does the bloody rudder work? Here we go. <laughs> if I glue the rudder in. So, oh, here we go. Speed test down the lawn. He's brought his hydro as well and as you can see they look very very similar, uh, roughly about the same size. So we're going to get them on the lake and see how well they perform. Still nosing. Yeah, good. It's not having is it? No. Well, it's kind of working. It's a lot better than it was.
perfect fit. Okay, this is uh, Pappy's Fan Boat Mark uh, 3. It's Fan Hydro Mark 3. Whoa! I'm gonna bring it around for a run. Okay, very well. We got, we got, you got a headwind this time. Uh, sorry, a tailwind. Yeah, the back's not lifting up, is it? No. <laughs> that looks so cool. Yeah, the front's come up okay, isn't it? But the back's not. No, no, the fronts are not, are not on the plane. Oh, they're not right up, are they? No. They're not wide enough, then, are they? No, none of it's wide enough. Right, here we go. Water rudder. It's a bit far off, but yeah, it's all on film. Key <laughs> 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 the robot walks me sick. <laughs> Man, how good is that, look? <laughs> just about, it's about as perfect as the conditions are ever going to get, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. There we go. Hopefully we're not going to have flipping over today. No, you hope not. Right, we're ready. Calm, calm. Wow. <laughs> Trees. That's about as fast as it's going to go. That's awesome. So guys, as you can see, my uh, winning design, uh, learning from the mistakes, um, obviously pitching the nose up and dropping the, um, the exhaust into the water is constantly giving ripples and giving me something to push against. So even when I'm picking up speed, uh, and the and, and I'm going through the air and and the uh, exit air is becoming less and less effective because it's moving through the air it doesn't have still air to push against 
I've got the water, which is whipping up behind and giving me something to push against, allowing it to ex continue accelerating. Um, the other thing was that I noticed was that I needed a small water rudder um, to give a little bit of caster effect. Otherwise, the thrust at the back, because it's planing, any tiny amount of wind at the front moves the front and the boat just spins around because there's nothing to keep it going in a straight line. Now, this isn't that effective when it's going straight because the airflow is just going around the, around the tail. Obviously, the further you move it around into the airflow, the more effective it is. So it's going to be very effective here, but when it's here, it's not so effective. So you're still getting a lot of tail moving around. Hence why I've added the tiniest little water rudder. And all that does is give enough drag to keep that tail behind the craft while it's, while it's planing through the water. Uh, so award-winning design as it is. So what I'm thinking is, this fan, which is 70 millimeters, is exactly 1.7 times smaller than the fan, the 120 millimeter fan, in the Radical Rocket R01, which produces seven and a half kilograms of thrust. So this, 1.4 kilograms of thrust, seven and a half kilograms of thrust, but only 1.7 times bigger, that's gotta be fast, right? I better get building. Well guys, 48.41 miles an hour on a test run, 50% throttle, and it was still accelerating. So this thing has got bags of potential. So on my next run, uh, I'm gonna try and find a much bigger lake and uh, try and take it up to full throttle and see how fast it goes. So thanks for watching guys, and see you in the next video.